Hey guys, it's Lori and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I posted on this channel. Like I'm aware it's been quite a while. I want to say it's been like two years since I posted an actual video on this channel. I haven't like stopped reading obviously. I just went through kind of a phase where I didn't really feel like posting book videos for a good bit. I don't really have a good excuse. It's just that I do this thing where like sometimes I'll get bored of something and I'll just like disappear or not even just that but I also have some like mental health issues and then when that happens like when they start getting all wild I kind of like just drop things which is obviously not a very good habit but I'm working on it working on it quite a bit so anyway I'm here and I decided to come back and start posting book videos again because obviously like I mentioned I haven't stopped reading and I did really enjoy posting these videos on the channel and talking about books and just having a creative space to like edit videos and showcase my love for books. So I kind of figured since I've done like quite a bit of reading, well not like a ton of reading, but I've done a lot of reading that I can't really do like, I don't know, I can't really talk about all the books that I have read whilst I haven't been posting videos, but I do want to tell you guys kind of like what I've been up to and like the things that have changed since like I said, I think it's been like two years since I posted a video on this channel and not everyone who like watches this channel still follows me on Twitter. And I think I've mentioned in previous videos that I don't just like live on this side of the internet. I also Twitch stream and, and whatnot. So I'm kind of a little bit everywhere, but I just haven't been like here posting videos. Although I have been still watching a lot of booktubers, so. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to. So the most important thing I think is that I picked up weightlifting, which is more like a casual like hobby. Like obviously I'm not a professional weightlifter or anything like that, but I've been really, really enjoying it. I think I did talk a little bit about going to yoga two years ago, which I still kind of do that, but just not as like often as I would like to. But that's mainly because it kind of conflicts with like my schedule with other things and we only have one car so it's hard for me to go to my usual yoga studio sometimes so I maybe get in yoga like once a week maybe 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 a couple times a month but weightlifting I definitely do like three times a week so that's kind of my main thing I've been doing and kind of bringing me a lot of joy because not only has it been giving me a lot of like physical things that I'm proud of but also just like mentally it's been helping me with like my mental health and just making me feel like overall confident and happy and all that jazz. So that's kind of the main thing I wanna talk about. If you still follow me on Twitter, which I think there are some people who do, I talk about that a lot on there. By the way, I'll link my Twitter somewhere, but if you don't already follow me on Twitter, um, I'm Legend of Lori on Twitter. But just so you know, I don't really talk like heavily about books on that Twitter. It's kind of like in everything, but yeah, like lately it's been mostly like fitness and as most of you guys know, if you are not new here, I do also play video games. So that's also discussed on my Twitter. So aside from that, I haven't really been doing too much. I still read, of course, and I do still Twitch stream, but it hasn't been as often as I would, as I would like due to some other things going on. But I'm hoping to also get back into that more regularly, hopefully soon. I'm currently not taking any college classes. I know two years ago I was, but I'm not doing that right now. I do want to get back into that as well. I got a new kitten who is currently eating all of the food that we gave mostly for our older cat. <laughs> He's been great. His name is Bilbo. And uh, another change that some of you guys might notice if like you pay attention to my face quite a bit is I started Invisalign as well uh, about eight months, nine months ago. I think it's almost been a year, maybe. It's getting close to a year of me doing, like having Invisalign. So my smile is definitely quite a bit different than my older videos. I definitely notice when I watch some of those that I look quite a bit different. So that's also a really fun change. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about life stuff. So now I want to talk to you guys about some reading updates or like things happening in my reading life. So first and foremost, I did rearrange my shelves. Of course, it's been two years. So I've gotten new books. I've read new books. I've acquired new favorites. And I know you guys can't see 
like this side of my shelves but I do have two shelves here that are dedicated to Sailor Moon which is like my favorite anime like ever so not really book related over there but I still like having my Sailor Moon stuff over there but I do have a favorite shelf right here which I honestly couldn't fit all of my favorites but these are some of my new favorites if you guys can see I recently read a lot of Victoria Schwab and I've definitely realized that she is my new favorite author like ever she's amazing so I read Vicious and Vengeful and then I also read City of Bones which was incredible and I know the second novel um City of tu Tunnels Tunnel of Bones Tunnel of Bones I think Tunnel of Bones came out like today or like yesterday which I did pre-order but for those of you guys who don't know I live in Florida and all of our mail got delayed because of Hurricane Dorian which it's so fun so I won't be getting that until probably Monday unfortunately but yeah so I acquired some new favorites some new favorite authors and my shelves look quite a bit different which I really really like thus far I think they look really really nice and yeah that's pretty much what's going on as far as like an update currently I'm reading Nevernight by Jay Kristoff and I'm trying to read the entire trilogy this month because Dark Dawn just came out like I think yesterday so I started reading Nevernight in the beginning of the month, which I think it's only like, it's the fourth, so it's only been four days, but I started reading it and I really like it so far. I feel like it's gonna be my cup of tea, definitely. It's just really, really good, really dark, and me so far is like really sassy and really amazing, so I'm really enjoying it. So we already have God's Grave and also pre-ordered Dark Dawn, so yeah, I'll be able to read, hopefully, all of those books this month and finish up that I do have a pretty big TBR for the month. So aside from the Nevernight trilogy, I'm also planning on reading Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. And I also want to read the second book in the, I don't even know if this is like, has a specific name, but Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. I'm planning on reading that as well this month, which I also pre-ordered, but it's delayed. Well, actually, no, it's not delayed. I think it comes out at the end of September. So I'm hoping to be able to read that pretty quickly because I did read the first one within like three days because I like loved it so much. So I noticed on Goodreads, this is kind of me just like going into a little bit of a rant about this specific book, but I noticed that a lot of people haven't really read Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis and it's kind of like mind boggling to me because that book was so, so good and it's so different. So this book deals with like necromancy and like the main character is trained to be like a kind of like a physician and she like comes in contact with this plague in her town that affects her entire family her entire village and she's like just trying so hard to stop it but there is somebody I think it's her like her teacher at her school because she does go to a school to to learn more about being a physician but the school is like I don't know it's it's like if you're like really poor and you go to like a really really like a rich school that's kind of like her dilemma is that her family was you know not very wealthy and the school she went to was full of people who were wealthy and very privileged kids so she went there to learn because I guess only people who are I don't know privileged can work in medicine or something in this world but yeah, so her teacher basically talks a little bit about a way to defeat this plague, I guess, with necromancy. That's a thing. And, you know, it just gets wild. I don't want to spoil it, but if you are a fan of Full Metal Alchemist, I know a lot of you are, you need to pick up this book. Because also Beth Revis, actually, in her acknowledgments, I think she mentions that her inspiration was Full Metal Alchemist. Hang on, hold up. Yeah, so she said, books are strange things. The earliest seeds of this novel started after watching an interview with Charlize Theron on a portrayal of Raven Ra Ravenna, Ravana, Ravenna, in Snow White and the Huntsman, and was influenced through many years of watching and reading Hiromu Arakawa's Full Metal Alchemist. So if you're a fan of Full Metal Alchemist, seriously, pick it up. This is. I just feel like so many people are sleeping on this series and the second book comes out this month at the end of the month so I'm just like really excited because I love this so much. 
so yeah that is my overall update and like a little bit of a reading update for you guys I'm also planning on filming a wrap up from last month. Like I said, I can't wrap up everything that I've read obviously in the last two years because that'd be a little crazy. So I'm just gonna do a wrap up from last month and tell you guys what I read in the month of August. And we'll go from there. I don't really have any like concrete plans on like an upload schedule and all that. But like I said, I do wanna get back into this and this is something that I really did enjoy. I really do enjoy editing videos, which I know a lot of people don't but I really liked it and I just I don't know I miss chatting with the book community and hanging out and just doing these types of videos like obviously you guys know that I do chat about video games as well but I really like talking about books too and I don't really get to do it very often so I'm here I'm back yay so yeah if you guys like the video make sure to like it and hit the subscribe button and I think I'm gonna try and shoot for at least one op upload a week, but like I said, I'm not really planning on a concrete like upload schedule quite yet. I don't know if you guys heard my cat, but he's like chirping. So yeah, that's the plan and we'll see how it goes. Once again, if you don't already follow me on Twitter and Instagram, do that, Legend of Lori on both of those. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day, bye.